Hi, fourth grade. It's your friend, Bear. This is going to be a video telling you how to log on to Google Classroom. Google Classroom will be your new home base. I would show you, but I don't have any hands. So I'm going to ask Mr. Ditch to come over and show you, and you'll get logged on and ready to go. Come on over, Mr. Ditch. Oh, hi, Bear. Thanks, man. Thanks for getting us started. That's great. All right, so as Bear already told you, oh, and by the way, hi, fourth graders, how are you? There will be two videos today. Andre and I are gonna do another video uh, talking about the math that you did and talking about some of the things you've been learning about our founding fathers. So stay tuned for those. And I don't know where Hard Shell is right now, so we're doing a terrible job of saving the turtles, but hopefully by the next video, Hard Shell will be back. So we have a new home base coming your way. And it's a virtual home base. You've probably, and your parents too, have probably been a little bit frustrated with all the ways that we're giving you information. Some of it is coming on Facebook, some of it's coming on YouTube, some of it's coming through email. It's all over the place. So we're going to make a home base. It's like our central hub where everything will filter through for any learning that we do in the next few weeks. What exactly it will look like, I'm not sure because we're kind of figuring that out as we go, but we do know that we will be using Google Classroom. So luckily, you all have your own Google account. It's the one we use at school. So I want you to follow these directions if you haven't already. They also were emailed to your parents if you'd rather just print out that email and follow them that way and make sure that you are logged on. So this is just a sort of supplementary video to help you if you didn't already log on uh, from your parents' email. If you already did, you can pause it now unless you just want to keep hanging out with Bear. Okay, here's what you need to do. And I'll put this up bigger on the screen in a second. But it's all of this stuff right here. Here's how you join. You log into your email. And here's how you do that. You're going to go on any web browser. So like Microsoft Edge or Chrome or... Internet Explorer, or what's the other one? Safari, right? And you're gonna to go to google.com. You're going to look, click sign in. And then it's just like signing in your Chromebook at school. You put in your Rochester, so like you might be Rochester 01 or Rochester 14 or Rochester 23 and at gccschool.org. Then you enter your password that you all know, it's the one you use to log into your Chromebooks at school. And then you click the little array thing and you open your Gmail. We've done that in school, right? And then open the email that I sent you that's inviting you to join our Google Classroom. When you open the email, there's basically a button that says um, join or something like that. And then you're in and then that's it. And that's all you have to do is just log in for now. There's no work loaded in there. There's no schedule posted in there. It's just try to get everybody, we're gonna to try to get everybody logged in. And the cool thing is, is that Google Classroom is a place where you all can actually uh, communicate with each other and reach out to each other. And I know a lot of you have expressed interest about maybe meeting up online or doing something like that. We're gonna get there to all that kind of thing, but it's gonna take some time. So I appreciate your patience. If you have questions, feel free to email me um, and we will go from there. I am going to put those instructions a little bit bigger on the screen so you can just pause the video in a second and then you can just follow the instructions from there. All right, I hope you're all doing well. Things are still going good in the ditch household. I'm wearing the same pants I've been wearing for like two weeks. I do own three pairs of these pants and I have been washing them, but man, it's just great living in your same most favorite comfortable pair of pants. Right there? Oh, uh, I don't wear pants. Good point, good point. But your fur is, yeah, anyway. All right, so stay tuned for another video with the solution to the scarf math problem, both my solution and Andre's solution, and hopefully Hardshell, if Hardshell turns up, and we'll share some fun facts about our founding fathers. Have a wonderful day.